We're with a fabulous Bill Jordan, a boom embracer extraordinaire, and my partner, John Coleman. Hey, Bill. Good to see you again. I'll tell you what. You guys, you crack me up. Every time you introduce me, it's fabulous. I just uh, never in my life has anybody attached that word to me except for you two guys, and I appreciate it. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy. Well, you know, it probably applies to you when you get out that glittery dress that we never mm -hmm. see you in. You know. Hey, you know what? Uh, we are not too much far away from the, quote, holiday season. Yeah. And the glitter will be coming out of the attic. It seems to be attached to everything. And I'm telling you, it takes us until August to where I don't see glitter on furniture, the floor, <laughs> or whatever. It just is like a yeah. glitter bomb goes off. We get it cleaned up, and then it's time to bring it back out. But anyway. Anyway, uh, listen. Press, I, I'd rather Bill, not talk about that right now. I was noticing... I was noticing that it, I think it's got to do with age, but I'm not sure when it happened. My favorite chair. Now, uh, in college, my roommate, Wally Campbell, brought his grandfather's favorite chair. His grandfather had passed away. Brought his grandfather's favorite chair to, to our dorm. And it was great. It was an old man chair. It was soft. You could sit in it. You could study in it. You could do everything in it. Mm. And I thought to myself recently that maybe it's age that makes us have a favorite chair. Because mm. I don't remember having a favorite chair, I don't know, 30 years ago. Um, I have always had a favorite chair. And I will point you to this. If you ever go to the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C., now they rotate their displays and stuff. But the last time my wife and I were there, and it was like 10, 12 years ago, in the Smithsonian Institution, in a display case, her medically sealed display case, was Archie Bunker's chair. Oh, yeah. From All in the Family. Remember, he had his chair. Sure, yeah. Somebody yeah. would sit in his chair, what are you doing, you? Yep. You know, yep. kind of thing. So, yeah, I've always, you know, now that I think about it, um, once I got out on my own and got my own furniture for an apartment, which, by the way, was some pretty fancy naga hide. I don't know how many <laughs> hides of the wild African naga gave up their life for this <laughs> naga hide, this leather-like material that was kind of sticky in the spring and summer. But I, I had the, the chair and the wooden frame with the naga hide wrapped around and a love seat and a couch. Yeah. And man, I could sleep in any one of them, but that was my chair with the ottoman, absolutely. And now, um, a few years ago, my wife bought me, uh, we, we bought the couch with the, both sides had the recliner, you know, on the ends. She bought, oh, me a, cool. she bought me a chair and I said, listen, you just bought me this recliner. Do not, if you buy me a recliner, do not buy me the recliner and then wake me up to tell me to go to bed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because I'm just going to go to sleep. So I've got one now. It's a nice leather chair that I uh, have not maintained through the years. Uh, it's got splits in the seams, and I don't know if oh, that can be. That's why it feels so good. Well, yeah. I've got it. I've got it covered with the uh, stuff with the got the pockets and all that stuff. Plus, mm. with our dogs jumping up and out of a, a leather chair, I, I wanted it covered with something. Um, but it's got the pockets for the remote controls and the cell phone and all that stuff. Uh, I still try to always balance it on the armrest and I'm forever dropping a remote control. And then I say a few words over it, put it back together, find the batteries. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I definitely have a, a, a favorite chair on my chair, but when company comes, I don't feel odd like Archie Bunker. If, if you know, the, the man or the woman or whoever is there, they want to sit in my chair. I don't, well, maybe a little. I feel maybe a little bit <laughs> odd that they're sitting. In my chair. It doesn't have uh, it doesn't have a name on it saying Bill's chair. No, it's pretty sit obvious. At, it's, sit at your own peril. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. uh, it's pretty obvious that it's my chair and then people Mary's know. Chair. Yeah, people they know. know. They know, and it's a yeah. scent. I mean, it's a it's a male thing you can detect. You know, like uh, you know the alpha male and all that stuff. So that's probably what it is when they come well, into my chair. Let, let's let, let's let's stop through the alpha male thing here. My wife has her favorite chair. That is her favorite chair. It's her command central. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, with with the remote controls and the USB port for plugging in the iPhone and the iPad. And sure. uh, you would be you would be ill advised to take that 
without asking for permission. Oh. Uh, so, uh, and yeah, by sure. the way, and that's, that's a good thing. But I was thinking while you were speaking, I don't think I've ever had, I have a place where I normally sit because it's like a routine. But if somebody else sits there, it makes a zero difference to me. But I guess I did once have a favorite chair. I, I was on a school board uh, uh, back in New York uh, before we moved here for uh, nine, 11 years. And there was this hard wooden chair that that's the kind they used to make for a desk chair. It was 100% oak. Um, and yeah. I and it had one of these uh, uh, seats that were uh, curved uh, for your, you know, for the butt just right. And I prefer that over uh, the uh, the chairs, the, the recliners and all the other stuff they had. So that's what the chair I used, especially when I was board president, I had them replace the other chair with that chair. And when I retired, when we moved to California, they gave it to me with a plaque on it. So, wow. Uh, wow. So I guess I, I, guess, I guess I did have a favorite chair. I, I yeah. didn't think I did, but I guess I did. And I, I love that chair. All right, John, you got a favorite chair? I do. And, and interestingly enough, it, and I don't know if it's instinct or pheromones or whatever it is, people come into the house, nobody sits in my chair. Now, I never, I don't sit down first to, to claim my seat, right, you know. Right. I just wait for people to sit. They don't sit in my chair. Every, you know what? Like I think there, know. there's something to that because I, when I go into somebody else's house, it's like, okay, where should, I'll ask them, where should I sit? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Or I'll that's typically good. pick a couch. But, you know, you go into, you know, it's another couple, retired couple, and they've got a couch and they got two chairs, two recliners. I sit yeah. on the couch. Mm. Yeah. That's just the way it is. But you know what? We talk about favorite chairs. Come on, guys. At our age, I've got a favorite spatula. I've got a favorite eye on the stove. <laughs> I've got a favorite Phillips head screwdriver. I've got a favorite yeah. flat tip screwdriver. Oh, yeah. I've got even, and this is an interesting study that I learned years ago. If you go to the grocery store or whatever else, if you can, you will park within like 20 feet of where you always park. That's hmm. interesting. That's probably true. Probably true. You've got so a great place of habit. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But you know, yeah. I, I want to share with you because I think that's something we all have in common that I have okay. a, I have a favorite, but far and away coffee mug. Yeah. You know, I do. There you, know you go. I do. Okay. This but is I a coffee I, mug. It's, it's anything seem, you I, want to mug. It's an anything I, you want to mug. I can't and seem. There, there, there's a phrase. It's ambidextrous. It is ambidextrous, but it's it's um. There's a phraseology that goes with it that I always hear your voice with, but I can never quite recreate. So why? Well, this we of course is for th this is this is uh, this is again for embrace the boom. What is the boom? The boom is baby boomers and the yes. lifestyle of a baby boomer. So yes. the idea is to not worry about it. I, I saw a lot of people, you know, getting older and they bemoan that fact. Well, what's what's your recourse? What you know? That's the idea, you know. So live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. We're proud to be baby Simple. boomers. God bless you, Bill. Thanks for having me, guys. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.